Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from Lake Wales, which is in Central Florida. And once again, I'm here with Micah. He was taking an Instagram. Do your Instagram again. Take a photo or a selfie. It's taking an Instagram, or is it a selfie? Judging by the water tower right over here, it says Lake Wales. Yes, we are in Lake Wales. It's my second channel, daily blog channel. It's the Daily Woo. Lake Wales has some pretty fascinating stuff. We've been kind of rooting around posting things on Instagram and Twitter and other social networks. We went by the Chalet Suzanne, which is a really cool old historical area where they used to have rich people fly in and stay in this kind of little resort. Cool. Almost looks like something out of like Wizard of Oz. It's a little like small. Everything there is small, which is very bizarre. Miniature. I guess not small. Miniature. Miniature. Kind of reminds you of something out of like the Wizard of Oz or something. But that place closed. So we went and took a look at that, and then where else did we go? Spook Hill. And we should show them the shirts oh, yeah. that we got. See if we, we each bought a shirt for a steal. Yes. We bought t-shirts. Check it out. Boom. Um, Spook Hill Elementary, mm -hmm. which is actually the elementary school right next to Spook Hill, which is one of those hills that when you put your van or your vehicle in neutral at the hill, it looks like the van is going up. It's an optical illusion. You can go over to my Instagram and actually see the video, Adam the Woo on Instagram, of my van going up a hill, spook hill style. Also, my main channel, Adam the Woo, was actually one of the very first videos I ever did in 2010, late 2010, was from Spook Hill. And I had the same van even then. So we had us, two grown men, adults, walking over to Spook Hill Elementary. We went into the office and we said, do you guys have any t-shirts? and they sold us those t-shirts. Take a guess how much those shirts cost us. You don't answer because you know. Mm. You should give the answer. For two shirts with tax, how much do we pay for two Spook Hill t-shirts? What would you get? What is that, $81? Yeah, something like that. $12. <laughs> we paid $6 each for two adult large. I'm a large. Are you a large? I'm a large. So we both got two larges. Large kids. He got a black t-shirt. I got a green t-shirt, which is in there. You will see later in future reference. But now to the point of the vlog here in Lake Wales. Check this out. This is something out of almost, I'll just, I'll just have you look at it. Just look at it and you can describe what it is. Prepare yourself for the Hotel Grand. Shaka -kunka -kunka -kunka. <laughs> that is awesome. What would be your first thoughts when witnessing this after you get done taking an Instagram photo of the Hotel Grand? Describe your feelings on this magical creation. I feel like I just unlocked the door with a key of imagination. Twilight Zone reference? Something like that or something on uh, early Tim Burton. It looks like the Tower of Terror could actually be up at the very top of that but you will not be actually going up there because you do not need a felony nope. on your record and according to this sign statute 775.082.084 I'm assuming that's a felony trespass statute. And the last thing either one of us need is a felony on our record. But this is really cool. The Hotel Grand, built in 1927. Do you remember what the actual name of this place was before Hotel Grand? It was called the Dixie, the Dixie. Wales that's Built. Dixie the Dixie Wales. Wales. Because we're in Lake Wales. And Dixie built Lake Wales Built. This, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but that's basically what I'm assuming. This is a pretty fantastic building. There have actually been people that have gotten inside of there. I am not one of those lucky folk who have actually got inside of the Hotel Grand. It looks like someone tried to break or something knocked over the fence. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> Somebody was trying to get a felony on their record, but that obviously is not going to be us. Sometimes I'll actually go into places that you're not supposed to go, places that are abandoned. This is not a good idea, however. Whenever there's a sign that says restricted area and felony trespass with the statute number, and you see cameras and police presence driving around, not that I'm seeing any here at the moment, but that could be a police officer. That could be that little blue car right there. Could be an officer of the law. So we definitely do not want to take a chance the law. The law. So that's pretty cool. Look at this. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of signs.
That's because it's a construction site. The difference with trespassing laws here in Florida, and I'm pretty sure anywhere else, is if it's a if it's a construction area, that definitely the laws are a lot more harsh as far as trespassing because it's a lot more dangerous and there could be workers inside, even though right now I do not see any workers inside of here. But as far back as I can remember, coming out here in the last four or five years to check this place out, there's always been those same signs. Sidewalk closed? That's kind of weird, it says sidewalk closed, but actually part of the sidewalk is actually open. It's open. So I don't know, I don't really know which sign we're supposed to see. This says felony trespass if you're over there, but it also says sidewalk closed. And we're walking. We're, what was that? The boost out front should have told us. <laughs> <laughs> but which sign do you actually follow? See, it says, it says do not walk along here because this is closed. But obviously, we're walking on it. So I'm very confused. But I'm also very bewildered at the amazement. Look at this. That is pretty awesome. Whoa. There is a massive oh my wasp God. nest up there. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are infesting. Maybe that's why they have the no trespassing signs up and this fence up. Because if you were to get close enough to that wasp nest, man, it almost reminds me of my girl when Thomas J was bitten by the bees. Except we would be bitten by wasps. Also speaking, of Thomas J and my girl, well, kind of in the area of a lot of the my girl filming locations. So we might actually head over to Bartow, which is in this area also, and check out the funeral parlor from my girl, which I did a video, my girl filming locations. I've done all kinds of videos. I did Spook Hill, I did my girl filming locations, but I've never done a video inside of here. So we're just kind of roaming around. Who knows what we're gonna do today? What, are we, what else are we gonna get into today? Any ideas? Uh, he doesn't know. No. But we're not going to get in here. We're not going to get in there. So shed a tear if you may. Which I don't know why I said that. It just sounded good. We will not be getting inside here. Even though those open windows are calling us, beckoning. Beckoning us, if you will. All right, so we're basically roaming around Central Florida. We're in Lake Wells currently. But who knows where we're going to be. We might go by Lakeland. Over in Lakeland. Speaking of other filming locations. We might actually go by Southgate Plaza, which was used in Edward Scissorhands. We're just roaming all around the countryside of Central Florida. I've also done an Edward Scissorhands filming location video. So I'm just kind of going around reliving memories of the past and the present for serious inquiries. Hey, we were looking for houses last time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but look, you can actually email them. And you can actually get a small suite available at first, I thought, it said, I thought it said, get a small suit available. Small suit. But obviously, if I was to wear a suit, <laughs> looking at my frame and my torso, it would not be small. It would be large, which is just like the shirt I just purchased That's for right. six bucks. There's Giovanni's six pizza. Dollars, I purchased a large t-shirt. That is cool. I definitely love this place. If you're ever in Lake Wales, just look up the Grand hotel which is actually known as hotel grand i'm speaking backwards today it's the hotel grand which is right here in downtown lake whale it should get far back so you can witness the majesty of this awesome building really cool look at that thing looks like something out of a movie i'm thinking twilight zone i don't know what era of cinema would have used this film but basically something out of something creepy or haunted or awesome this is cool. The Hotel Green. We should get over in the frame and we'll get one last picture that we can use as a default of the Hotel Grand. Over in here. Get on this side. Get a little closer. Raise your hands in amazement of the Hotel Grand. Awesome. Check down below for my t-shirts at thewoodhousepressure.com. Also, you can see where I am today, and where this guy is today on my Instagram, at in the Woo on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook slash The Daily Woo from the Hotel Grand in Lake Wales. Have a great day. See ya. Bye. Say bye. Bye.